think this is it. Right in the middle of the city. Beautiful golf course. Oh, right there. It says New Zealand's number one golf course. Oh, wow. Just minutes from the city. That is gorgeous. And then, oh, you got buildings. All this green. BMW. Alright, alright, alright. Welcome to Fabled Hunters. This is Yanji. I'm Saint. Let's open some stuff. That's right. Again. Let's open some stuff again. You are still looking for the second half oh, yeah. of your uh, submissions. Yeah. And um, tell you what, there's some sun coming in, so you get to open up this batch. Just Viewers, in front of the camera, it's been, I know it's been a couple weeks for you, but for me, it's only been a couple of minutes. Couple so of minutes. I did not have to wait multiple weeks to see uh, the other half of my submissions. Yep. But uh, hopefully, uh, it comes some beautiful iPhone flies. Let's see what happens. So you don't know anything about the grades. Nope. You just know that the cards are back. I haven't really dug in because I've just been super busy. So I don't even have the manifest or anything, but there's supposed to be one in the box. We're going to find a Coalfoil Tunic, I believe, and a gold foil Crater Fist. So that's what we're digging for. Oh, yep. Got it right there. It shifted really well. I mean, the protection is superb. Holy. Oh. Both pulling. There you go. Awesome. You're welcome to go for it. I am going to look for identification of the cards. Okay, I see it. There's only one tunic in this batch. There's only one crater fist in this batch. And we're gonna see what happens. Yeah, I see it, the tunic, crater fist. Tunic is 3384 alpha. Crater fist is 3429. Let's see, Yonggi. It seems like they've been doing pretty well lately. I remember when I graded like a year back, the serial numbers were like the 1314. Uh, yeah. probably two years back. Two years back. Yeah. yeah. So now they're up to the one six. The one six. Just go off. It, it'll move the. Uh, you gotta watch out because once you open it, the whole thing might just fall, and we gotta. I, first, uh, we don't want the whole batch to split up. That's number one. Second, gotta land the plane. You gotta make sure. Is that the? It's the that's card. the card. So yeah. you gotta turn it around. Mm -hmm. All right. There, and then preferably remove the. You got it. There you go. All right. Oh, okay, yeah, that's a workout. It's not not that easy. Let's line this up. This time you've got two stacks right here. Uh -huh. All right. Okay, we're starting off with some silver labels, right? Yes. Yeah, you can do labels. the honors, man. Just all right. I will make sure it's in the middle. Let's see. Da da. Flick flack. Flick flack. Same story. Eight point five corners foil. Yep. The yep. corners. Da da. That oh, is a non-foil. Non-foil. Oh my god, it's hard to choose. There's two. Uh, There's two golds two in a row. Oh my god, more more golds. Da da. Crazy, Crazy brew. brew. Non-foil. Non-foil. There we go. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. With a ten too. There's only one tunic. I already checked. That so, is crazy. That is your tunic. That is three Ooh. three eight four. We don't know the order of this thing, so that just came back. Holy. That, that's right there. It's we'll, we'll put this aside. It's definitely a big win. This is Yangji's 9.5 gold, well, cold foil tunic in 9.5 gold. So that's definitely a win. That's my first ever back in 9.5. They're actually quite strict. I'm and surprised. This, this comes with a decent amount of premium, so very good, very good. This one, lines on termination. Termination non foil. Non -foil. Okay. Great. Well, we actually have a. We can we can make a Becky graded Dorothy deck now. <laughs> right. Combined with the last batch. <laughs> uh, okay. That's a. That's a. No. Oh, it's a foil. Yeah, it's a foil. It's a foil nine. Uh, like how kick. Yep. Uh, moving nine. down the line. Lord of the Wind nine. Sad. <laughs> yeah, it's a foil. It's a. It's a. It's a. These rainbow foils are really hard to grade. I mean, there are only four hundred to begin with. They're all printed poorly, so it is what it is. The Dorinthia deck is coming along very yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, that's a nine quad plus plus, right? Yep. Sad. The non foils, hey, there's not any premium when when they're uh, silver labels. Oh, another disable. Well, that's foil, but 
Was that the, okay, the corners again. Likely story, 95% of the time, it'll be the corners sinking, sinking the battleship. Yeah, the, the, the car stock quality for Alpha is good enough that the surface, usually if you don't rub it against like hard surfaces, would remain really nice, very nice. So like when you acquire an Alpha car for grading, just like look at the corners like really, really hard. Yeah, for sure. That's great advice for somebody that, uh, this is your first time on our show, right? I believe so. I mean, you've done interviews at yeah. the pro events, but this is the first time sitting down for an episode. So, yeah, this is just off the cuff. These are your own observations, obviously. Ah, nine quad plus plus, foil cr crippling crush. I would almost almost even try to go again on this submission. Of, That's so but the, close. Yeah, the centering is, it's close, but they probably got it right. Ah, but the corners. Still, still, I might just hold on to it as a nine quad because it's premium there. So, yeah. Foil, yep. foil, 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 foil. There you go. Yeah, that's reserved for the for the gold. For the golds. The golds. Where are my golds? Are the golds. Here. That um, is a non-foil. No foil. With the tent surface. Yeah. Who's Gail? Gail. I don't know. She's getting pounded though. Hmm. Mm. Hope she's having fun. Hurricane technique. Hurricane technique. Yes. Remember on our last batch? I don't know. It's it might be too early to call. On our last batch, we were less than fifty percent yeah. in um, non-foil gold. So. Yeah. yeah. Now it seems like the non-fall goals are... Oh, good. These don't go unnoticed. Nine quad plus plus. Louie, shout out to Louie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll put this to the side. This is a... Uh, Non-box? Yeah, non-WTR. non, non -WTR. It's just a filler. Oh, that's a foil. Yes, it is a foil, but sad. Corners. The corners, man. Yep. It's rough. I said it would be rough. Uh, non foil Mugenshi Mugenshi release. Oh my god. Golds. Golds. Golds, Golds after golds. Yep. Ta da! Alpha Rampage. Oh foil. my god. Ooh, I think there's only five of these, and if this is right, this is the sixth one, so that's a hit. That's a hit. Foil Majestics are a huge, huge hit. So there we go. Especially uh, with the release of heavy heater, uh, hitters. Heavy hitters, yeah. Maybe uh, right now. Yeah, heavy, Brutes uh, are heavy hitters, I believe. I was saying brutes and warriors, and you know. Oh, yeah, I thought it was a cold. Uh, oh non -foil. no, it's a non-foil. It's a non-foil, but still, that's, a that's cool. It's a card. Ancestral empowerment is a card. Yeah, I really like that LSS removed super rare from the rarities in the packs because it. Ooh, oh, it's non-foil. It's non-foil sink below. Sink yeah. Below. There we go. Yeah, because opening a um, a yeah, super rare kind of feels bad. Mm -hmm. it, in, in WTR now, like everything's majestic. Everything's super majestic. Rare. I don't know. Super rare seem fun to me. You know, looking back at things, a lot of the super rares seem to be playable. Route mm -hmm. is playable. Singing Steel Blade is playable. Yeah. Showtime is playable. Yeah, right? Cranial Crush is Cranial Crush good. is playable. Yep. Yeah. Okay, okay. What else? For the Brute, Reckless Swing is playable. Sand Sketch Plan, I don't know if it's as playable, but. And the Goat Remembrance? Remembrance, of course. Yeah, I was yeah, saving yeah. that for. Yeah, for sure. That's just Alpha. Nine Quad Plus Plus. Huh? That's a, a layup grade. Not, not very amazing. Not very impressive. Yeah, this is yep. like for if you want to slightly pulling out your deck. Yep, uh, yep. Pink uh, Sigil is a pretty good option. Okay. Non-foil. 9.5. Yeah, it seems like the non-foils for Dispatch have been doing re pretty doing well. Doing a little better, yeah. Because we diversified. And uh, actually, we tried to save our best for... Wow. Split it. Right. Best for last. Best for the, the second batch. I actually put your more expensive card in the second batch as well. Although the, the Tectonic, right? I split it. Mm -hmm. The Tectonic and the uh, Mage Master Boots was the first batch. I didn't want to put the Tectonic with the same batch as the Spring Tunic. Mm -hmm. Just like last batch, uh, you know, if you viewers see a couple weeks ago, we had the Brave Porch Bracers, right? Yeah, strategizing. And yeah, you got to split up the value and even split up the conditions. So the, the definite preference was to submit the second. So hopefully the idea was the weaker ones you know the weaker ones took the hit in the beginning and that kind of happened and the stronger ones come back in the end cranial crush okay yep nice. non-foil so the non-foil stack is accumulating mm -hmm. it seems like this grader has been some, having a great day yeah there's some 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 gems in here let's see okay oh, non -foil. more non-foils yep 9.5 what else what else Ta -da. Oh, pink, snatch. pink snatch and non-foil what what sunk the battleship? Oh, the edges. edges. Okay. Usually the edges are pretty good. Sometimes there's that little snag though. Yeah. 
Oh, I see it. There's you like see a it? squiggly. There's squiggly. It's a rough cut. Yeah, probably. Sometimes handling. Not trying to blame anybody, but general handling and moving around. Spinal crush. Spinal crush 95. No Unfortunately, foil. that's not a foil spinal crush in 95. Another gold. Another crippling, crippling crush 95. Little little bit of pickup, little bit of premium. Always collectible. I like the first 10 Majestics. Remembrance. Remembrance. Okay, well, that's a card. Remembrance in 95 is a card. Got a bunch of golds. What is that? There's gold after gold. Yeah. Um, Ooh, there you go. Finally a quad. A quad. quad plus, bonehead Wait, barrier. It, yeah. <laughs> that's fine. Use it, stick it, stick it in the gold, gold batch. Actually, you could probably, oh, there you oh. go. Ah, uh, the corners on the this corners. one. But still, still a nine. Nice. You've got, you've got both cards back. We'll, we'll let the tunic uh, take priority. Yeah. This is still a huge hit. Out of four cards to get the most expensive card, tunic. Mm -hmm. So, Yangji, you're, you're getting your, your, your fourth card back. The, they're all in. There's no debris in the card. It looks very, very nice. nice. So, yeah. yeah. There we go. Oh, sense guys. Sense gets, yep. Just a bunch of non-foils. What else, yeah. what else, what else? So, we're down to the last second half, second half. Ooh. Ooh. It's 9-5. No rune gloves. No rune gloves. Yes, gold foil. All right, bro. Sorry your creative fist took a hit. I'm just going <laughs> to park my no rune gloves right here for a second. What else? We got more gold? More gold. Pink Ooh. shunt. Pink shunt foil. Plus, plus. Two tens. Yeah. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big uh, one. Right here. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, the, the rainbow foil has not been doing so hot this batch. No, they're, they're never going to do so hot. 25% ratio on the rainbow foil is already amazing. Ooh! Ooh oh, dude, that's huge. That is ridiculous. That's huge. That's huge. I've never graded one in quad. I'm just happy to uh, have a quad. Now. Yeah, so the story is these kind of promos, they're given out in like this white bo cardboard boxes yep, and yep, they're like yep. stacked on top they're of They're not even other. sleeved, so. Yeah, they're not sleeved. So in shipping, if there's like some like, it's Moving like bump, around. bumpy road yep, or yep. something like or that. Or even when they just uh, go off the batch, uh, sometimes they just, yeah, grade poorly. So for yeah, so example, I have these on the, this on the side. You can see like visually, they look kind of the same, but you can see like the corners, it's like, yeah, there's corner the top, damage there. The top left corner of that one is like visibly. Yeah, these are much, green. much prettier corners. So, yep. Yeah. Do we get it? Yeah, we got it in frame. Yeah. So that that's a huge win. That's huge. That's that's another quad. Ooh, quads. All right. What? what other gold? Oh. Oh, plus plus. Plus plus. Yep. Basic plus plus. This is the some, some more stuff. Silver labels. Yep. Ta da Route. Route. Rainbow foil. Quad plus plus. Sigh. Hard to get route in 9.5. The centering in the corners. Said it last episode. <sighs> well, you, you know what that is. It, it shouldn't be that impressive. Yeah. Overpower? Overpower. Just a uh, basic. Like a rainbow? And, and you could tell. Just just spoil it. You can obviously tell from the back of the card what it is. Yeah, what is <laughs> See? Oh, Ooh, that's it's a pretty quad, solid. Though. Yeah, quad, it's a quad. Quad, 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 quad nice. Everfest card. So put this next to... I, I prefer this yeah. card, so Th these are the, the non-WTRs, you know, the outside stuff. What yeah. else? Oh, Glint. Yeah. Man, Glint the foil, corner. too, the corner. I would even try to resell it, but, you know, they're very consistent. They know what their 8.5 corners I, look I, like. I still have an idea. Okay, let's save some 9.5s for the end and then go through the, the 9s. Sure, the whatever you'd like to do, man. It's all randomized anyway. Yeah, okay. Okay, oh so my you God, want to do that's the silver. Crazy. That, that's a stack of 9.5s to close okay. things out, so... We it's got a uh, couple silvers. Nine, let's go. Oh, with a cold foil? It's a cold foil gauntlet. Yep. It's a nine, nine quad plus plus, plus plus. Yep. And then, da -da. oh. Again, nine quad plus plus. 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 Yeah. The iron yeah. rods. Solid, yeah. solid. Yeah. I'm kind of sad that they're getting power cracked slightly. The the set, we now get the Teclo. You uh, think so? Teclo base, like Teclo base arms. That's basically just Blade Break 1. Okay. But uh, yeah, iron rod like will always be goaded in my heart. Oh, plasma, plasma and quad. All right, nine point five quad. That's very like, solid. Very solid. That's like a pack hole foil, right? So it goes here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, uh, it's outside of. This is all WTR. This WTR, is all okay. extra stuff. But we, the 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 key ones. Like I I saw this one. I felt it was undergraded, and I uh, grabbed it and uh, regraded it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. nine point five basic plus Arc Knight shard. Mm. That is solid. Yeah, my hand is shaking a little bit. Yeah, that's that's really really nice. Yeah, still still gold label, very very strong. Got a couple left. Da -da. Ooh, Ooh. <laughs> this came back. This came back. You you just 
Keep keep doing what you're doing a second. Oh, it came back. My God. Wow, that that's it a. It came back good. That's a cold foil heart. It's a cold foil heart in 9.5 quad, and um, yeah, I've 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 got I got the original. I felt it was uh, here, just so you could see. Felt it was undergraded, and I believe I was right because the 130 era was a little. I think I featured this in a previous Fabled Hunters episode, so I cracked it out. Don't do this at home, guys, but I was right. Um, same thing, plasma barrel shot. I felt it was undergraded. I was right. And, um, well, there's, there's one more. But th there's only, um, as of the filming of this video, or before I submitted this, I checked, there were only four legitimate quads. There was like a 127 era quad. In, in heart, which was uh, very, very off center, that the whole community agreed was um, not a legitimate quad. It was overgraded. Uh, this is, I believe, the fifth quad heart in the world. So I will have graded um, three out of the five uh, quads that exist. And I'm. This is this is the probably the hardest card to grade in quad, and uh, it just came in this batch. So. You got, a, you got a big win. Mm -hmm. I had a big win as well. This and batch is insane. Yeah. This heart, I mean, it takes some balls to crack a 9.5 <laughs> uh, heart. Yeah, it's... It was graded at 9.5, it's just not yeah, quad. 9.5, but I felt the corners were undergraded and it was during the 130 era, which is COVID and really strict, and there we go. Another 9.5? Oh, Kofo Bravo. Yeah, Bravo. This, this was a loss. I felt it was actually supposed to get a plus or plus plus but uh, the edges actually got downgraded, although the surface went up. Yeah. Who knows, it might, it's probably on a knife's edge. So yeah, some, some you win, some you lose. Sometimes you, you gotta gamble, but yeah, this is the I, I view, uh, no, 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 I, I would trade. This could be like an eight. I, <laughs> I'm holding on to this. This is, this is part of my forever collection now, and that is huge. So yep, Iron uh, Rot Helm. Uh, All right, like, that's, that, that's not going to go above yeah. the heart. There you go, it's it slide down there. Yep. And, and uh, the last one to close it out. Oh, to complete ooh, the iron rod set. A quad plus plate. The the uh, I mean, cold foils and quad are hard. Yeah. In general, nice. so um, yeah, uh, let's let's go through it. Let's be diligent about it. Mm -hmm. um, I'll return your tunic in a second because it's a cold foil, right? Yeah. It's a it's a it's a alpha cold foil. It's an alpha cold foil. So we got a lot more golds this time. Let's just count from the golds. We got ten. 15, 18, 18 out of 25. So what's 18 out of 25? That's a 72% ratio, right? Because it's 18 out of 25. 72% is much higher than call it 45, 47%. Because mm -hmm. we were uh, 10 out of 22 last time, right? Mm -hmm. Now we're 18 out of 25. Um, the rainbow foils did not fare nearly as well. And like I've said in every single episode, rainbow foils are really rough. We got two out of, so nine out of the 11 went, um, went nine, whereas only two made it to 9.5, but that's a reasonable ratio. That's 0.89 repeating or something like that. So anyways, this is probably something like a 17% ratio, which is inferior to the 25% that we saw last time, but that's life. You know, we, we shoot our shot. Truth be told, some of these, like this one, mm -hmm. off by 0 0.5, this one off by 0 0.5, some of these Majestics, this one, Route and uh, Glint. Glint. Uh, I might have to take another shot because I just think it's so close and given a little bit of kindness, different grading meta, it should eek by. Um, the cold foils, let me just make sure, the WTR cold foils, six were submitted. Last batch, five were submitted. Six were submitted, four went gold. Out of the four, two went quad in the golds. And uh, two went nine plus plus. So we went 67%, our two, two thirds in 9.5. So that's super solid. Um, Obviously, I got the big win. You never know, but uh, you got a huge win as well. Yep, that's a dub. So, Yangji gets a dub, and you got two dubs last time. The Crater Fist is, eh, right? But your last two in nine quad 
pick up premium, especially for cards that came out. I think even the Crater Fist came out before the LSS PCG partnership, right? Um, the Crater Fist, I think it's after. After? One. Yeah. Okay, but I remember uh, busting this out of one of those like sealed. Uh, oh, so you, you did. Yeah. There's already one of those, so it's nine plus. But it hit nine, which is what they're guaranteeing. Yep. And uh, just quick review. These are just extra pickups. The Showstopper, the Shard, hit the No Rune Gloves, even in Basic, is amazing. Hitting these in Quad. These two quads are really impressive. Oh yeah. This, not so much, but these two quads are great. And uh, finally, well, the real star of the show is the uh, Heart of <laughs> Findal in uh, 9.5 quad. That is so hard to do. I've done it twice before, one grading, one of my own, one grading, uh, you know, prepping for somebody else. And now this is a third out of five. So grading three out of five um, hearts that uh, exist in the pop in quad is, uh, it's something. It's something. We've hunted some fables. Yes, we've hunted some fables. And uh, yeah, Yangji, hope we can do this again. You've got your your returns now. We'll get these off camera. You've got your returns now. And uh, for Force Labs, you hit the most expensive one. You hit the one that counted for the most, mm -hmm. right? So, yeah. Yeah, for the, for the record, uh, the, the other day I brought in like more than four cars to say so we're doing like a basic screening uh, yep. screening of the cars and what gets disqualified Th yeah. these were what qualified and i already told you that even if you just hit a solid nine mm -hmm. you're ready especially for the gold foils that preceded the pcg uh, lss partnership you're already winning i did have my eye on this tunic and obviously mm -hmm. we were right so you got a huge four figure premium pickup here and you got small premiums here and you got yeah, you got some protection here on your crater fist. So nice. yeah, very solid, man. Yeah, if you just lay it like this, like that, that makes a Bravo set. That's, that's a Bravo what, set. Yeah, that's what Bravo plays uh, in the very early uh, beginning of base. Okay, Bravo players out there, you know what I'm talking about. Great, great. What what do you do for the helm? <coughs> Arc like skull cap. <laughs> skull cap. Skull cap. Skull cap. Okay, well, you you, you need to go trade for one then, yeah. right? Or you could, you could get away with the Crown of Providence, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's just do Crown We'll right figure now. it out. Do the Crown of Providence, yeah. All right, so guys, hope you like what you, you see. Uh, hopefully we can add some uh, value and some thoughts about grading questions and whatnot. And uh, remember to join our Patreon if you got the opportunity. Otherwise, remember to like, comment, subscribe, twiddle that notification button, and we'll see you next time. Bye.